the only time that you may consider using PageRank, and this is uh, when you're really trying to optimize to get you know the absolute most out of your site, maybe if you optimize for internal reputation. Now, what I'm talking about there is when you're linking within your website and uh, you're linking to a page, let's say most people link to their home page with the anchor text home. So I'm going to head over to Planet 13 and that's a good example. This is another website that I've um, helped build and manage. Uh, having a look here, you can see we've got a home link up the top here. Now, when we talk about off-page optimization, we'll be talking about using anchor text and the importance of making sure that the appropriate text is used when linking to a page because it educates Google as to what that page is about. Now, obviously, we're not trying to rank for the keyword home. So I don't want to link to my home page with the keyword home when if I have a look at the top here, I know I'm actually optimizing for the keyword band merchandise. I'm not looking to optimize for the keyword home. So that is an instance where I use the no follow tag. So I'm just going to use highlight no follow tags using that search status tool again, a, a plugin definitely worth getting. And you can see here it's highlighted all of the tags that I've no followed because I don't want to try and rank for home. I don't want to try and rank for store locations. I don't want to rank for customer support. Um, and I, I use other methods and other ways to send links to the pages with the anchor text for which I'm trying to rank for. Um, really, that's the only point in time where I might use no follow, just for the internal reputation to make sure that I'm telling Google, hey, this page is about, you know, ban merchandise or whatever, um, then I'll link to that page with the right anchor text. If I'm going to link to it with something outside of a keyword that I'm trying to rank for, then I'll use the no follow tag. Actually, I should probably show you. I'll just jump in and go view page source and just show you what that no follow tag looks like. Uh, again, just pass this on to your web guy. He'll know what it is all about. Having a look here, you can see there's our link there. Um, go on to planet13.com.au and we've got here rel equals no follow. So that right there is our no follow tag. You pop that in uh, whenever you don't want to pass any of that, that Google page juice or you, you don't want to um, have Google uh, read that link because I, I don't want it to think, hey, this, this page is about uh, home when I'm trying to optimize for another keyword. So that's probably about the only time I would use it. The best thing that you can do um, when it comes to page rank is just to send links to the pages that you want to rank to. Find out what your high converting pages are, your money pages, and send more links to those pages. Uh, if we head over to uh, Planet 13 again, this is a good example. I'll scroll down the page here, I've still got that no follow tag on, um, highlighting the no follow tags, and you can see down the bottom here, here are all of the keywords that I'm trying to rank for, ones that I consider more important. Um, and you can see here, band t-shirts, and band stickers, and band buttons, and band patches, uh, these are some of the keywords that I'm trying to rank for. So I'm sending uh, some link, link love to those pages and I'm making sure that I'm doing it with the appropriate, appropriate anchor text as well. So just send more links to the pages that you would like to rank for. So I want to give you another example as well. Let's have, um, check out maybe this Blink182 patch. Something else that I do uh, is on some of my pages, you want to get your internal linking structure right. So it's a good idea on a page to link to other pages with the keywords that you're trying to rank for. So this is a page about Blink182, and if we have a look down the bottom, I'm sending links to Blink stickers, I'm sending links to Blink182 video, Blink182 discography, because they're keywords that I'm trying to rank for. So I'm going to make sure that I have that on the page, and then I'm I'm using my internal linking structure to help increase my page ranking when it comes to the results in Google. So that's um, the best way to do it. Send links to those high converting pages. I've got here more pages equals more sites. I actually uh, made a little bit of a boo-boo there. It should be more pages equals um, uh, more links because when you've got more pages, it's more linking opportunities, more opportunities for you to link back to your yourself with pages that you want to rank for. Again, this is something that you don't want to over-optimize and don't spam. You're not going to have on every page um, links to every single uh, 
page on your website. That's not really going to help you. Pick out those high converting pages and link to those. Ultimately, that's why big sites win, because big sites have more linking opportunities. They've got more pages, therefore they've got more opportunity to send links to those pages, which ultimately helps them rank better in the search engines. Okay, so a picture is worth a thousand words, and I think this will help explain a little bit more the way this linking structure works and the way that you should structure your website. Now presentation mode here isn't letting me wiggle my mouse so I'm going to close this out and I'll just do it like this so you can see the what I want to show you here if you imagine this bucket as your home page and we've got our SEO juice in the top here that's our our page rank now these pages down here or these buckets are our sub pages and you can see we are linking these little lines here represent links from our home page through to these sub pages so you can see here, we're linking through to some pages that might be important just for navigation and help the user to get around the website. Also, we've got pages here. You want to link to those important pages that I talked about, those higher converting pages. You want to make sure that you link to those. And that's what I've done here with these green links. Those green links represent pages that I want to have ranked that are outside of the normal sort of navigation and I'm linking through from the home page to those pages and you want to make sure that you do it with the right anchor text. You want to make sure that you do it with the right text explaining to Google what that page is about. That's a way to funnel the page rank or funnel that link juice to the pages that you want to have ranked. And then you've got these more internal pages here, these other buckets and these other buckets are still linked to but you want to link to them from your sub pages so because this page here for me isn't as important to get ranked uh, maybe it doesn't convert as high maybe it's an information based page whatever the reason is I don't want to have it funneling all of my good um, SEO juice it'll get down there at some point I want to have make sure it's indexed but I don't want to spend um, this valuable link juice trying to get this page ranked when these ones are more important because they're the ones that are going to equal money for me. You also want to have a look at some of these other pages here I haven't linked to but you really should be linking to all of your pages on your site. You just be linking through from your sub pages and just not having a direct link from your home page. Another thing you might look at doing and this is part of that internal linking structure an area I think most SEO people overlook is the idea that you should really be linking to these pages these pages where I've got these green links here you could link to them from these other internal pages these sub pages could be linking through to those pages that you want ranked and that is a good practice